It's early morning, crisp and cold. While most people are still in bed or are struggling to start the day, there's a small group of men and women who are already halfway through their working day. 56, minus 12 degrees Celsius is 10 above Fahrenheit. Early morning radio is considered the bread and butter of most radio stations. If you do well in the morning, you'll probably carry a good part of that audience throughout the day. It's no wonder that it's the most competitive slot in the radio business. Each early morning personality brings a unique style to the job, and it's all to attract the largest ratings. It's five o'clock in the morning. Agatha Moyer comes to work to prepare for her six o'clock start on CBC's information radio. Moyer's information radio is unlike the majority of morning fare in that it focuses on news and current affairs. It's 12 and a half minutes past six o'clock. Good morning again. Welcome to Information Radio, the morning edition for Wednesday, 8th of December. I'm Agatha Moyer. Lionel Moore will keep you up to date all morning in sports. Ed Durbeck has local news and weather, of course. We'll have weather in just a minute or so. We're geared toward information programming. It's news, weather, and sports. We have almost no music. I mean, there is occasion. There are occasions where we throw something in. I'm not a DJ, and uh, it's not a one-person show. For the northern part of the province, a few clouds today, brisk northwesterly winds. The we have a producer sitting in directing the show. We have the rest of the team working in the offices, researchers, writer, broadcasters who provide packaged material. We have other producers, so that it's very much a team approach. Shocking, and accuse the government of incompetence and maladministration. The job sort of became my life. I mean, there was no time for social life, no, uh, except for Saturday night. That's the big night. You get to stay up late. By Friday night, you'd think, gee, I can stay up late tonight. And then by 10 o'clock, you'd be zonked. You know, you go to bed, and, and you'd feel you were losing something. So. Um, it's an adjustment that way, but more from the point of view of, um, I guess it, it's hard to leave it at home. It's hard to leave it at work. It's hard not to take it home with you. And I'd find very often that at night, you know, I'd go to bed and I'd be thinking about interviews that I knew were coming up the next morning. I'd be thinking about questions and all these different things would be in my mind and I couldn't leave it. But um, I gave myself a good talking to about what it was doing to me and if I was going to continue in the job, I'd have to somehow get around that. So I've, I've become a little better at, at leaving it at work and psychologically dealing with it a little better. The campaign began in the summer before other groups had started their pitches and perhaps lack of competition helped. At any rate, the contemporary dancers ended up selling more than twice the previous year's total of season tickets. But surely Jackie's sales campaign is only as good as the product it's pushing. How did yeah. they do there? Well, with that in mind... In uh, private radio stations, it's very much a personality. It's, uh, uh, you find some of the well-known morning show hosts on private radio creating characters. They become different people when they, when they go on the radio in the morning which is very entertaining, but we have to kind of combine entertainment and information, and if I become a different character to entertain, I, I think, or I feel that I risk losing credibility in my interviews. I mean, they don't know who's, who's doing the interview now. Is it Agatha Moyer or is it X, you know, somebody else? Tomorrow morning. City FM's brother Jake Edwards would like to tear you out of bed. Aggressive, loud rock music and his flamboyant, eccentric personality have merged to create one of the most popular morning shows in Winnipeg. Just about 18 minutes in front of 7 o'clock, I'm going to slip right through that microphone. Can you see me coming through the speaker there? All right, I'm going to rip the sheet off the bed, pick you up by the toes, shake you around. This is brother Jake waking you up with some Black Sabbath on the city. I got on the air the first day and people were getting up in the morning. What the heck was that? So we tried to key the energy down a bit. Of course, the rock, rock music has the energy level is already there. The music is a star of, of the show, you know. Uh, I'm in there sort of trying to uh, choreograph the whole thing, put it together. I want to give the people 
uh, as much information as possible. What happened in the sports uh, last night? The Jets were great. We'll give them that information. We'll give them the public service announcements. We'll give them the weather. We'll give them the time. And we will give them comedy. We'll give them comic relief. We never talk about negative things. We'll never dwell on the Silex missile base going into Wyoming and, and nuclear holocaust and all that stuff. We like to stay away from it because there's so much negativity on information radio that, you know, this, they always make you aware of how badly the economy is, you know, the shape of the economy is in. We don't, we like to stay away from it. We'll let the newsmen handle that. But you've used the term life in the fast lane. Is this it? You got it. It's life in the fast lane for sure. Because when you go out and meet people in public and you go to the bars or you go to the parties, they don't expect you to just make an appearance and take off. They want you to party. So it's like I come home, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning and it's life in the fast lane when you, when that alarm clock goes off at 530 in the morning to get up. It's like, Oh God, I gotta do it again. You know, but you know, shower into their instant coffee machine and uh, you know, let's go, Yahoo. You know, by the time that music rolls around, boy, it's not as if you're gonna play Patty Page or the Kingston Trio, hang your head down, Tom Dooley. It's you know, rock and roll. Let's get active. You know, I like to go through the speakers, rip the sheet right off, grab them up by the toes, shake them up. Time to get up. And that's the way I like to have them go to work. Even if you're only gonna turn the radio on and hear the rock and roll and go, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. Those people are up. Good morning again, everybody, as we get the Christmas feeling coming your way with the help of the Ray Conniff singers this morning on Wake Up Winnipeg. And Most Winnipegers Winnipeg. see Red Alex Minus as an institution. For more than 30 years, he's been hosting CJOB's morning show. And for a good part of that time, he's led the ratings. Long-standing bits like beef and bouquets, regular news, weather, sports, and additions like radio personality Lori Mustard have kept Red Alex on top. I've done yours. The almost active remains of Lori Mustard. You don't have to overdo it. You don't have to. You haven't got your smile on, right? I never have it on. Get your smile um, on. Morning, beef and bouquets. To the people that bundle themselves up and take these uh, short-haired uh, dogs out for walks that I'm sure they're freezing, and I feel sorry for those poor poodles. So they I grew up on the farm in Saskatchewan. Is all, uh, you, know, you can survive that. You can survive anything. And I, 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 you give me a person that's been brought up on the farm, he's, he's different. It really is. And you can take a lot more abuse. To be uh, perfectly honest with you, I didn't want to uh, ever be a radio announcer. That's the last thing I ever wanted to be. And uh, when I got into the business in oh, about 49, there were no jobs anywhere, and somebody said, why don't you go in and start singing? So that's what I did. I took my guitar and went down to CFQC in Saskatoon, got a job singing, and... Uh, then I saw that there was no money in the singing business. <laughs> I don't know whether it was my poor singing or what, but uh, I, I got to really like the, the radio broadcasting, and it was uh, a job and something to, you know, take home the paycheck. But I, I visualize myself as just an ordinary Joe on the street. I'm not a broadcaster as such that, you know, I'm not a Lauren Green. I'm just a, a one of the uh, community. I feel like uh, the people that have been with me for the down to the years of growing up with me, so they're just the same as I am. Time coming short to the Christmas. Yeah. Good Christmas for you, your family, and best wishes for Peter Warren. You two fellows do a really good job. Thank you, sir. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Because you really try it. Okay. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Morning, beefs and bouquets. The morning man seems to rev up the whole station if he's a good one, if you do the job if, that you're supposed to do then the fellow following you is going to carry right on with that. But if you have nothing to start with, then your morning audience is all gone. And uh, uh, once an audience gets with you in the morning, they pretty well stay with you throughout the day. Is there a little bit of pressure associated with that responsibility? <laughs> <laughs> that is the pressure of the uh, morning show, is to get that audience and to keep them. By the way, bundle up this morning. It's pretty cold out, minus 25 or 13 below. Good morning. One of the reasons that you keep a large audience is being consistent in everything you do. Um, when you say the weather's going to be at 20 after 7, you're going to have the weather 20 after 7. And that becomes a habit-forming thing with people. And uh, that's one of the biggest secrets of uh, keeping an audience is uh, having the same person doing it all the time because people relate to it as part of their lifestyle. Okay, to you and Lori, and best wishes in the new year coming up. When they turn on the radio in the morning, Red Alex, the guy they grew up with, is there. And they come, they go away from Winnipeg and they come back. They're all shocked he's still there. And that's what I think uh, keeps us going. Into the car, go to work, and I'm cruising. I never think that I'll blow all my fuses. Traffic flows into the 
breakfast show. 